Hello everyone, it's Mel. And today we are going to do, <clears throat> hopefully, some art. <laughs> I don't profess to be an artist, guys. I don't. I don't profess to be very good. I'm going to introduce some supplies. We're not going to use them all. It's been a long, long time. Uh, seriously, it's been a long time. My skills are not great. I'm not saying they ever were, but they certainly were better at one point. Um, that being said, it doesn't matter because let's just say beginners are going to always be, and that's the way it should be. So I will give you a brief little history here as I'm like going nutty with a Vim cloth. Um, I'm going to give you a brief history of my desk here. Brief history of what? What has challenged me to do this? Um, a little bit of my loves and do the general chatty thing that I do and get some paint down on paper. These are magic wand pencils, Jane Davenport. I do have pencils, guys. They're in my art closet, up very, very high. My daughter in Vancouver has my ladder. I can't get them. Uh, and I don't feel safe enough, balanced enough to get up on a chair. Home alone. Sorry. Uh, so I've got to use the new ones. Now, I'm not here displaying any of my supplies so that you guys can race out and buy them. I'm certainly not. I do. I am a fan of Jane Davenport. That being said, I'm going to show you all sorts of supplies I've had for years and years and years. Cheapy stuff, alternative stuff, things you can use. Now, let's start by the base, okay? I'm going to remove this here. Um... Because I keep, it, I keep everything, guys. I keep everything. I use everything. I have very limited space. So you guys seen me haul these uh, journal jackets. But I really, honestly, I'm waiting for a, like, it's it's a, it, it's this teal color. And it's a matte. And you can use it, actually, as a paint palette. And I do have a ceramic paint palette. I have all the things. Uh, that's just me, guys. I get into something and I use all the things. So one of the things paper towels. Okay. So I've got those there. These are some of my brushes. I've just literally, do you see how old they are? Super, super old. Okay. Like, uh, I've got some foam ones. I've got literally ones I've bought from the Dollar Tree in the car section. Some of them have been like splayed out like this. Um, cheap, 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 cheap. Okay, you don't have to have them all. You can go on Shein or something and get like these kind of um, brushes. Okay, I haven't used those yet, but I did. Um, I will tell you about the kinds of watercolor we'll use in a minute. These are my tried and trues. These are my acrylics. Where did I get them? Well, you guessed it. The dollar store and you have to shake them after they've been sitting a while boy you've got to shake them and look guys look yogurt container tops parmesan container tops paint palettes right like um when it looks like it's separating you just give it a shake okay i hope i'm not making you dizzy but i've tossed everything but the kitchen sink in here so we're going to be working with acrylics today because I really find that getting back into painting acrylics the place to go, which means my hands are going to be um, full of acrylic. In the background, I'm actually on my other phone, on silent, playing Jane Davenport as she's doing her acrylics. Full disclosure, uh, I love Jane Davenport's inspiration. I'll never, ever, ever be able to draw like her. I wish I could. She does lovely faces. Um, I'm not even sure of the color palette anymore. I do have somewhere, yes, I showed it to you yesterday, a color wheel. Uh, I know where it is. It's in that, um, that bag that I can carry from room to room. Um, but I am just going to wing it. Now, I've done many, many what I call abstract drawings before. I'm not a realistic drawer. 
Uh, I actually just had a cognitive test done yesterday to draw a stick chair. And I got to tell you, huh? Uh, I was a little bit um, surprised that my dimensional perspective is out considerably. And so is part of my memory from the pneumonia. That all being said, what does that mean? It means nothing. It means nothing because I'm still going to do art. Art is the fact that you want to express yourself. These are at the Dollar Tree. They're palette knife sets. If you want to spread your paint thin or thick or have texture, whatever. I just pulled these out. I've got this beautiful cabinet to my side. It's covered in front with my art. Like, seriously, guys, my space. So I've got these wooden pieces and in front of them, I've got rolling carts and, you know, yeah, my storage. I had to haul them all out. So these are my tried and trues. We're going to be doing acrylics today. I did order these. Um, we're going to use this paper, but these are her um, covers for her books, different sizes. Okay. And we're going to use this paper. Why not, right? So I'm just going to get this out of the way and hopefully I can do it so I don't have to leave this space. Now I've ordered considerably a lot of stuff from her. These are also paints. Okay. These are also paints. Um, other stuff. I've done this haul. Here's some inks. I have a lot of stuff like this in my art closet. We're not going to get too fancy today. Why? Because that, folks... Um, let's just say this. That would take a long, long time. Now, do we want blue or white? I'm going to use the white. And the reason I'm going to use the white is because if I add paint to it, it's going to work out okay. I brought out this mug. Stay magical. I can't really use it for coffee or tea because of the cold gold on it. And if I put it in the microwave, it starts like sparking and stuff because I wanted to put the colored pencil crayons in it. These work great over top of acrylics. So we're going to do that. I did scrub my scissors, so we're going to open this together. And I'm just going to take them right out of the box. I'm not going to keep them in the box. Because I do plan this month to get back more into art. I've been feeling it for a while now. And that usually comes when I want write too much. When I do too much of one particular type of art. I'm not limited in my style of art. I, I, I do like all kinds of art um, that I will not throw out, but I will, like, I will use my garbage can, but then I'll fish out the bits. I'm so funny that way. I go through the bits after I cut my pieces and I, I fish out bits and cut them and whatnot. So she's got magic wand. These are basically, you add water, you can make them into paints, but you can use them on top of acrylics. So I'm just going to take them. I don't even think I need a mug that big. Let's see how big of a mug we need. Because I don't want to take up the whole table. Okay. We're going to do a little finagling. One quick little second, guys. Absolutely just don't want my space full of like sizes too big. Okay, so there's the pencil crayons. I have a mason jar of water. Now I have no children in my house. If I did, I would put paint water or something like that. Or if I didn't have like a particular sippy cup, for example, and I worried that my coffee might be drank, I would, you know, label that for sure. Um, so as you see, I've got brushes. I've got water, paint pencils, and I just want to line them all up. And then, like, I still have my pens and all of this. I'm, I don't know that I have to move everything. And I do have very limited space. So I'm just looking here what else I have. Um, I do have her pastels as well. Now I have another pack. Again, they're up high. Um, but it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not going to open it. 
Um, some of these are for watercolor. These I could use over top once the paint dries. I'm not going to do that today. We're just going to do some painting. Uh, these are... What are these? I know I did a haul with you guys. And don't worry, we'll get to painting. We'll get to painting. Maybe I'm stalling. Could be stalling. There's a variety of books too. And I wanted to talk to you guys about books because you don't need top of the line books. Although top of the line paper is nice, but, but that doesn't mean you can't go to the Dollar Tree and glue a couple of pages together. Oh, are these just like water markers like these ones here? Because these ones here, you can get them cheap. Okay, you don't have to get them like from Jane Davenport. Um, musical markers, what the heck are those? Oh, these are like paint pens. Okay, that's what they are. And I've got paint pens that are no name paint pens. You don't need name brand anything, guys. You can find like the store brand. Um, so why did I do it? Well, because I had a discount code, um, because I felt like it. Um, sometimes you work up to your art supplies and sometimes you just want what you want. So I'm gonna remove some of the stuff, but like I was saying, don't discount normal like brushes, okay? The other thing I do too, because um, we'll talk about that another time in another painting thing. I don't want to dump it all at once, so I'm not going to. So I'm just gonna put this stuff like out of sight, out of mind. We're not using inks, we're not using watercolors. We are using my tried and true acrylic paints all from the Dollar Tree. And then, of course, I need the paper towels. And in this box, as you can see, I've kept things like ribbon packaging. This is where in other videos, if you look back, I've done flips and I've made like, I've painted on flowers and I've just stamped. Um, same with toilet paper rolls, okay? This one here is a free and clear one because the last one I had done, I was making circles. Um, here's another one, right? And then these sponges. These are just scrubber sponges, but you can like do so much with the paint. More brushes, you know? Like, so I kind of keep things throughout the years. They're not perfect. But you can see where I started, where my roots are, right? And, you know, I, I, I don't even have a pencil. I don't think, yeah, I think I do. Yeah, I have a pencil. I have a pencil. I have, this was my grandpa's kit. This was my grandpa's kit. And I remember when he gave it to me. And I guess he must have just gotten sick. Um, this was my dad's grandpa. Um, he's the one that him and my grandma had the farm. And this was his bag. And, um, I remember, I remember when he gave it to me, I must have cried all night long, silently. Because I, I always remember him using this. And in here has some beautiful paint pens. These ones are really nice. These are not Jane Davenport, but you can find similar ones on her site. Same sort of deal. Okay, these these are really good for like watercolor. Um, and most of my most of my stuff, guys, is is created around watercolor because that was my medium at one point. Um, as you can tell, Watercolor was everything for me. Look at all these brushes in here. I just kind of tossed them in. And then these are pastels. And cheap watercolors. And then more expensive watercolors. And then at some point I was getting really, really good. I used Mary Kay-like brushes for the lips. 
just giving you ideas. If you go to thrift stores, you will be able to spot these things and pick them up. And then in here, of course, is all of my drawing stuff, my sketching stuff, my charcoals. Um, so what happened? Well, uh, these are great erasers, the Faber-Castells. In 2021, I had five weeks of seizures. Okay, five weeks. Um, and not that I, I would say I was, oh, this is a duster. This is great. This dust is, I needed that. That takes the dust off your page when you're erasing and all that stuff. Um, so it's good to have it at the forefront. But yeah, this this piece here will forever be like my... I think I'll leave that duster. Where am I going to leave that duster? I don't want to lose it. Maybe I'll leave it there. Um, so I have stuff that is definitely vintage. This is a vintage case, okay? And if I'm not mistaken, my grandpa had this made for him, but I'm not sure. I know it's I know it's like quiet quality. At least he always treated it. I mean, look, look at it. Look at it. You would never know my grandpa had it for years. This is why I'm so attracted to this color, right? Like, look at this. Gorgeous, right? So I thought about painting in like this book here as I draw things and I may just like have avalanches guys because I only have so much space and something has to go this better go down because my table and my space here is super super limited and I've had to move everything but I thought about painting in here but these papers you see are not quite thick. I could I could throw some paint on there. Do I have binder clips? Of course I do. So I mean I might be able to do that, but it's about where I'm going to put these books at the end of the day and not get them on anything else and store them. So I don't have a flat spot to put everything. So I have to work really in one book. Um so if I if I paint these books at all, which, you know, I kind of want to now that I've brought it out. Um, if I add any paint at all, I'm just trying to think. And of course, you guys have all seen my tour of my art bag. So art is very important to me. I have to work with my hands, and I do. I... I just, I have to work with the, all the things, guys, all the things. And I'm mediocre mouth. Um, and, and that's how it'll always be. So maybe I'll leave this one for now. Hmm. It would be less daunting because I, I did bring out these books from Jane Davenport. And um, I really wanted to use this book. Or one of these books. Look at this artwork. This has her like tracing paper and I thought I thought I would try something in here because I really wanted to do that. Now all this is guys is wax paper. So if you're saying well I don't have that Mel. Yeah. Do you have wax paper? Do you have a Dollar Tree? They have wax paper. Um, and then you make your own signatures and then she's got uh, this one, which is not very thick paper, right? I don't think it would hold inks. I'm not sure. But she's got videos on all of this stuff. But these are like lightly inks, right? And then I bought another one of these because I thought, well, gee whiz, if I ever go and... And then this... It, let me finish. If I ever go to our website and I can't find it again because I struggle with websites, at least I have the second one. And then these are all the bags that everything kind of came in. And I just love, like I said, her art. Now these here divide up pages so that I can flip it if it's semi-dry. Flip these in between the pages so that they don't stick together 
if I use gesso or something. And all of these pages here were bags that she sent her stuff in. And in this nice little folder. So I love her style. I love the fact that she's abstract. She doesn't plan. Uh, or if she plans, she plans in such a way that is uniquely Jane. And so I'm going to call this series the Dear Jane series because essentially it's been Jane Davenport that has re-inspired me to do this and the holidays and all of that. So we're just going to do our best. I'm going to remove what I don't need and I am now having to figure out, okay, that one's off of there. So there's these two books. Now, okay, so you don't have these two books. You can go find this kind of a book. Trust Your Creativity Sketchbook. Look guys, $12.99, winners. And this, these pages are every bit as thick. Let me just see. And I always like to show you, no, they're not. This is 120 pound GSM paper. What is this? This is 60, okay. So, but you can still paint on that, okay? And I have other books too, other books too. But I, I want to dive into one of these two books and particularly this one because I can use this one with a magazine to help me. So like tracing paper. So where did I put? I'm just bending down guys, if you're wondering. And I'm getting a lot, oh, here it is right behind me because I was smart. Now, it's not copying if you take an inspirational picture, okay, and I've shown you plenty of these, and kind of give yourself a guideline. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, I should be swatching out paints and all of this stuff, but, okay, there's one. There is one right there. I want to start off this book with the seasonal stuff. And then if I cut that out and put it in here, then I've done the same thing, right? So what that means is I can come in here, look at that. And then I just take my pencil. Now guys, I'm gonna sit down and do the best I can and kind of giving it a vague sketch. And that's all I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna mix these paints and then it's not going to look a thing like this at the end. Nothing. It's going to have my own take on it. And what are we at? I have to be cognitive of the time, so I'm going to drop you down a little bit so I can just get you in good and close and so I can see what you're seeing. Oh, and I also have this. This is for brushes as well. Now, again, these are makeup brushes. At one point, the Dollar Tree had them all. See? So more makeup brushes. I just stuck stick those in the middle of the pencils. And then um, I've just used this red velvet bag. And you guys know that the Dollar Tree or other stores have these kind of brushes too. So do not be afraid of using makeup brushes for art brushes. I mean, at all. Okay, don't. Because, hey, that's what I do. But I'm visual, I need to see them, so they've got to come out of there, so they've got to go in my other box. Where is my other box? Right there. So this bag is now, no, it's not empty because it's got the lid in it and it's got two more little, and you can tell they're makeup, but I don't wear makeup. So, okay. Um, so I'm gonna keep that little guy out there. 
the lid there. Put that bag around here. All right. It has been so long, folks. I'm not even kidding you. It has been so long since I have done any artwork like this. So I'm, I'm not going to be too precious. I'm just simply scribbling, doing scribble art. I'm, I'm, I do not want to follow this particular uh, photographer's artwork. I don't want to copy his art. I just, I just want a vague um, impression of what of what this tree looks like in the space that it's at. And I'm not very good. And I, I, I'm going to continue to say that. I'm mediocre Mel. I'm not very good. But I'll tell you guys one thing right now. I don't much care. I don't much care. Uh, I might have at one point. Uh, I know there was a period of mourning I went through when I realized that I lost a lot of my skills, including my guitar, uh, including some uh, executive functions, a lot of uh, executive functions, to be honest with you. Um, I went through a period of like utter mourning, which, which presented depression. Um, and after a while, I just, I just thought, you know what? A dog with three legs doesn't feel sorry for itself. I am not get up and do this. And I, I was able to do that because I had a militant father, guys. Not everybody can do that. Uh, I, I don't think I was allowed to feel sorry for myself very much in my life. And that was a good thing looking back. I mean, my parents taught me how not to be in a lot of ways. They were very good in giving people in a lot of ways, but they were tough, tough when it came to, you know, um, Hey, take stock of your life and count your bloody blessings. So, uh, that's what I've done. Now, if you look, that's all you see. Let's take that out of there. That's all you see. That's all you see. I'm going to stick that under there again because usually when you do, a, like for me anyway, when I do a opening page, it's very scary sometimes. I don't even know where I, where I was. Okay, let's, oh, good thing I did this over here. So let, let's match up some colors here. Now, I'm not going to be too, too picky. We want green. We want green. There's some red. We've got some, is that red? Neon red. Okay, we've got some red. We definitely need white. White is great. It's your best friend. You make a mistake, pour some white on it. Um... I wish I had some silver. I don't. But you know, I'm going to do some blue. I've been into blue lately. Blue down here. You know, I don't have to, like, this is beautiful. I don't have to follow the traditional colors. Uh, one thing about Jane Davenport that she makes very, very clear is you don't. You do not. And so, oh, look, there's a bit of gold. So, like, I have I have no desire to be the best. If, if you're, you're watching and you're thinking, well, gee whiz, Mel, um, like, that's gross. This is gray. This is, like, black. Wow, I don't know that I want to trust black right now. I think it'd be all over me. That's African violet. That's nice. We'll use that. And okay, so already I've got two, four, six, eight, nine colors. Let's pick one more, make it an even 10. Here's a deep red. Okay. This one sounds like it's kind of dried up. And I'm going to unscrew my little lid here. And try to keep this. And this can morph. I might start off as a tree, okay? And it might end up a person. Uh, that's okay. 
Okay, guys, like that is okay. I, I fully expect not to end up where I begin on everything, on anything. I've learned that in life. I mean, if, if I, sorry, I've got to pound this a little bit to make sure that the, the ink is not dry. It's been a while. Um, that one's good. That's how you can tell. That one needs to be shooken up a little bit more to mix the oils together. Yeah, I, I think, you know, experimenting, having fun, playing, playing. Lately, I've been using that term more and more often. I simply play. I don't care anymore. I, you know what? I used to be judging myself so bad based on the fact that I would think, what are other people thinking of me? You know what? I don't care. I don't care. Uh, there, I think people can, can be entitled to any particular thoughts that they want to have. Absolutely. But I just want to paint. So I'm going to. So how is everybody doing? I lost track of time yesterday. I seriously did. Of course, folks, I'm having a really tough time focusing. Seriously tough time focusing. I, uh, I was talking to my doctor, one of my doctors, about that. Um, and my blood work didn't come back very good, unfortunately. Um, and so now we've got to go through a whole... Nice song and dance about changing medication. So, you know, if I sound wonky in the upcoming days, you guys know why. Um, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, if you've never had the pl pleasure or privilege of being on any medications in your life, bless your heart, honestly. D don't wish it, don't want it, don't desire it, don't crave it. But... Um, that really needs to be shaken up some more. I find the gold and the silver in particular really have to be shaken up. And I should tell you, I really suck at doing faces too. Totally different topic. I know I was talking about uh, another thing. Um, having this ADHD is making me very... Um, that's That's the focus part, guys. So I've, I've lost track of time. So there I've done a whole circle, you see. I was talking about one thing, and and, and I've been doing this a lot lately. So I, like I started yesterday, and I, I literally lost a chunk of time. And um, it, it, it's very upsetting sometimes because I have lists. But those lists can mean nothing. As a planner, they can mean absolutely nothing. So let's pour some, some paint down. Let's pour some paint down. I just want to put a little bit to start with. I thought I had a big red. I don't. I have a little red. Okay. Um, let's put the little reds. We'll put the little ones over here. Now, like I said, I do have a ceramic bowl. Oh, look at that one. Obviously, I am not too, um, I'm not too, what's the word? When it comes to paints and stuff like that, sometimes I have to clean up real quick because I'll be like, oh my gosh, uh, it's, a, it's an attention span thing, you know? Um, why am I putting them back? Well, I don't know. It's just... This thing I do better not though right in case I need more of them let's do this purple I'm just looking at those other colors and I'm thinking I'm not gonna fit them all on there but these are beautiful I put the pink here so like you can see this tree we're gonna start off as this tree but will we finish as this tree oh no no idea. This pink is beautiful too. Let's try that. We did the green and we just have a 
few left. And now I got to consider brushes. What am I going to do for brushes? If you are worried about getting messy or dirty, well, well, what can I tell you? Now I do need a space where I can mix paints, but I can always do it on the paper if I have room. So I'm going to have to move those over there and make room here. Over here and get this paper towel kind of moved. Okay, how do I open that paint? Does it open from the top? It does. And I don't know that I've mixed it right. So let's go to a different white. I don't know. I think this one's dead. Here, we can go to this one. There we go. All right. Now... These paint brushes are, like I said, wet and clean. I like these very long ones. They, for me, they're sort of my style. Uh, it took me a long time to find what my style is in paint brushes, but that's okay. All right, guys. Now. Again, like I said, disclaimer, have no idea, haven't painted in years, don't know what I'm doing. Please have zero expectations. I'm going to drink some water. I hope you have a tea or a coffee and some Christmas music playing. I am painting a Christmas tree. <laughs> and I promise you absolutely nothing, nothing except that I'm here for you and I wanted to try something. So I want to put the back in and I'm gonna do it in this lovely cover color here. And this is the dab technique. Everybody can do it. Just dab, dab, dab. Now you may see it curl up, see? And it'll want to do that. But acrylic actually dries pretty darn quick. It is why it is one of my favorite mediums of paint. It's why it's one of probably the best mediums to start with, in my opinion. Of course, it's only my opinion. And if I wasn't taping in in this format i would you know use the hair dryer which i have beside me i'll show you i i do have one of those fancy you know artsy kind of things i tend not to use it what can i say i tend not to use it so This book is going to be messy, it's going to be horrible, it's going to be clunky and chunky, and when it all dries, this, basically this tracing paper is going to look wonderfully crinkly and beautiful, and I'm here for it. I am completely here for it. Now, that's the water you hear. Um, everybody has their own style of how they do it. I just take my brush and just sort of daub it like that, put it back down. And now I just want to add another color while that one dries. I don't want to add the green right away. I want to put some gray and I'm just daubing the gray. And like I said, that tree underneath already doesn't look anything like it, does it? I'm, I'm pretty much eliminating the picture at this point. I'm not here to follow the picture. I was just here as an inspiration to remind myself I sort of wanted to do something Christmassy. There are no Christmas colors. Has no, right now it has nothing to do with Christmas. Nothing. But it will. 
my own way it will. If I think of painting in my own way, if I think of it, it's really like a mood board. The colors I pick, the brushes I pick, the time I pick to paint, the music I play along. Right now I'd be playing, you know, some Christmas music in the background, probably Nat King Cole, Bing Crosby, that kind of stuff, those oldies but goodies, you know. You see how fast that's drying? It's just absolutely drying beautifully. Okay, so all I've done is covered completely pretty much all of this wax paper, which is like tracing paper. She calls it something else, guys, and I have no idea what what it's, you know, what it's called. Now, I do like this particular brush, but I want to do something with the green. And so I'm going to use Big Ben. <laughs> My Big Ben brush. Uh, that's not what I call it. I just... I want to get this beautiful green on here. And again, different technique. Now, I did not let that gray dry. Not at all. This is a far, far different video than the one that if you were to see, I'm watching Jean Davenport do right now because she is doing faces and I love her faces. I wish I could draw faces. I will aspire to draw faces, but I will stick to nature scenes. Uh, I won't be painting any marinas anytime soon or boats on the water for now. Uh, perspective is a little bit gone for me. So I will just do my abstract art and feel happy at the fact that like, I'm producing art. And who cares? Who cares if my tree looks like an alien from the planet zooped off. I mean, I, I don't care. I, I don't care that, you know, um, I don't really care. Now I'm going to kind of mix these two colors here. And what a forgiving color. I do need more green. Where are you? Cheap, good old-fashioned acrylic paint will go so far in saving sanities. See how that's really kind of dried already? Now I'm just gonna just sort of drag it across. Already that, that lavender is practically dry. That's the great thing of it. If you see my arm shoot up, it's because I'm going to like forward over to the next video of Jane Davenport. I just, I love how she swatches and stuff like that. I haven't done any of that, but I will. I just really wanted to get into this book and there's no other great time to do that than with you guys. In fact, just one second. This is the uh, show here. So I'm just going to go on her thing, go on her videos, get some more inspiration. Now that only has 10 minutes. Um, I've seen this one already, so I've got the volume right off. I'm visual, so I, I just like to look sometimes. Now you can see there are patches of wet, okay? Now, like I said, I, I can use sponges. I can use a whole bunch of different tools here. Okay. See, I've got sponges. I could cut these out to make 
like little ornaments and stuff. Um, like some of these are like absolute garbage. You know, one sponge, for example, if I took that, that could make something. Or I could cut like a circle. In fact, I will cut a circle just to show you that when I want to make an ornament, I can. But um, you can only make one circle per color. And right now, with my hands, <laughs> there's always something, isn't there, folks? I mean, it's not a circle anyway, but it is what it is. So, this part's dry. I want a smaller brush. Because over here was that bow. So I'm just going to... to just use the paint and draw it in. And I do need some smaller brushes because that brush is turning out to be wonderful. So I need them that small though. These are a great set as well. I don't think I need them that small. I'm just going to grab a handful here. Let's see what I bought. Let's see. As you can tell, they're none too precious or super old. That's okay. You don't need to have the best of the best, guys. I certainly don't. I never did for a long, long time. And I keep everything. So I've got stuff here from, I don't know when. Now I can leave all of these brushes in the water if I wanted. I really could, um, but I don't. I do you want to paint that bottom part green? The question of the hour is, folks, do you have to be good at something to do it? No. No. Oh, there was the other ones right in front of me. Silly girl. I'm like, where are my other paintbrushes? And they're right here. Um, more paintbrushes and brains this morning, I'm telling you. This one is really good, too, because I, I took a moment to, like, splay it out. It's really good for like making faces or, you know, certain shapes, like dragging the shapes. And then these ones over here, same thing like that. That's for your eyebrows, right? But you literally can use that look, and thin out the paint and get the direction. and get the scratch marks too. And you can tell it's almost dry, right? So it just takes this experimentation of being prepared to make it look terrible before it becomes something beautiful. And it can. That's where the pencil crowns come into. So now I'm going to take this picture right out of here because we don't need it anymore. So does it have anything in common with anything? Absolutely not. Right? Nope. So bye-bye. Thank you for your help. Now it's all on me. It's all on me. 
So I wish I had a darker kind of red with me, but I won't waste wishes on silly things like that. I am blessed in all of my, my bounty as it is, and I never forget that, not for a day. Now, typically, if I wasn't filming, I'd be like my hands would be in there, but I, I'm not going to do that. Um, this started out as a bow. It's not going to end up as a bow. I can tell you that right now. It doesn't want to. And so I'm not going to force it to. Now, this tree wants something and it wants some lights. And I'm just looking to see if I can make. One of these guys work for me. This one will. So we are going to put, I should have gotten that wet first. Let's get that off of there. Now, I did forget to bring, although I can use that. Okay. Usually, I, I have a brush holder or something. Sometimes, does this work? Is that what I was doing last time? Sometimes, I create things like this. That holds my brushes as I'm still using them. And I've just taken the cup off the top of children's Advil or something and then a toilet paper roll. And I've just kind of compromised it so that I can still use the brush. Now this is still not flexible enough. And that just goes to show I didn't really give them as good of a wash. I'm trying to think, probably my grandkids could have been here at the time. Although I'm not going to blame everything on my grandkids. Could have been I was just lazy or I got a phone call or... How many minutes are we at? Uh, holy smokes. Is it 53 or 58? Mel's blind. Mel is blind. I feel like, honestly, guys, that I am back in grade one, knocking over everything <laughs> from the cloakroom. Um, no, I do. I feel like I am back in school, reliving my, my school years my own way, the way it should have been done for me. Um, more art, less academics, more nature, no homework, um, people don't go to work and come home with work, right? And if you do, well, you're paid for that, right? Uh, our kids need to come home and just relax. I'm very opinionated about this and I tend to go on and rants, but I, I just think life is too stressful and especially, you know, children, like, I mean, life is hard enough. Um, I, I, you know, and, and who, who, who pays for that anyway? The parents pay, right? So, um, if they want to do extracurriculars, that's fine. But, you know, there's so much, so much that, oh, look. So really, I've only used four color, five colors. There's one in there that you haven't really remembered, I don't think. I barely just did myself. Um, 
I do want to do colors that don't normally show up here. So I really hope, I don't know, like I really hope that you guys haul out whatever supplies you've got. And it doesn't have to, I mean, you can go to the Dollar Tree, spend your $5 and get your stuff. I, I'm sure at one point that's what I did. And um, please, you know, like I am as inexperienced as an artist as there is right now. I'm not even a beginner anymore. Like I, I'm like, um, I mean, let's put it this way, guys. I, I, I took advanced art courses when I was in uni. So I was like, uh, like, you know, not to have these skills anymore. I have to allow my brain to be okay with that. Now I haven't added red for a reason and I haven't added blue either for a reason. I want to. The blue is calling me. The blue is calling me. There's something about blue lately. And it really like pulls beside that white. Okay, I don't like it down there, but that's okay. We'll fix that. There isn't a star or angel at the top of this tree. This tree, I'm leaving it blank because I'm not sure what should be at the top. You know, a star or an angel. Um, what do you guys think? That's a really good question to ask. What do you guys think should be at the top of a tree? Star or the angel? Now, I do have to get in depth into something over here. Has that one been functionable? Yeah.
sorry that I'm not talking, guys. I'm just not even watching the video, to be honest. I'm just like thinking to myself about the word Christmas and the people that call Christmas with a X and those that do it with a C. And um, I, I was just thinking about how weird it is that we have these opinions, right? Um, that, you know, aren't always the same. Now, this is, this has got to dry. I've got to define it all. But in the meantime, I do want to take off a part of this little stamp. And we're going to just do some daubing. I am sure if you found a four-year-old right now, <laughs> that four-year-old could do a better painting than your gal Mel. But that's not the point. That's not the point. The more you do something, the more you start doing it on camera, especially, right, guys? The more you do something, the less you give a flying feather. Let's just say. The more you do something that you love, the more you put into your world the things that matter to you, the more you do that, the less you're going to care about anything else. Now watch me do this. It's completely blurred, guys. It's been raining so much here that it's completely, absolutely blurry. All of this is blurry. Could be through a shop window. It could be because somebody was upset and went out for a walk and looked in. Do you ever do that? Go out for a walk just to look at the lights and what you see in the window pane is these gorgeous trees. I do that all the time. That's why I've just really been enjoying walking. This is one master mess, guys, really, truly. One master mess, but let's let's get some more green because this paper and I, I I honestly don't know what you guys are seeing. That tree just looks like eh, <laughs> and oh my goodness, I'm gonna throw some white in there. And sometimes I feel like the more I do with it, the more it'll look horrible. But you know what? This stuff has to dry. And when it does and I come back to it, um, it may look better. It may probably not. Um, but I'll tell you something. It doesn't really matter. Because at the end of the day, Merry Christmas, folks. This has been fun. I I used recycled lids. I have this paint. If you want to keep this paint, cover it with saran wrap. And thank you for joining my mess, my inspiration. <laughs> What's this gorgeous picture here? And this is my result. Does it look anything like it, guys? Absolutely not. No. Do I care? I wish I was like Van Gogh or... No, no, I don't wish I was Van Gogh. Absolutely not. But I, 
I, I'm just Mel. I'm just plain Mel. And because I am, folks, that's what you get from me, is plain Mel stuff. But I do hope that this inspires you to say, oh man, I could do better than that and get your butts over to your your stuff and say, here's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to create something. And you don't have to show it to anybody. You just have to be uniquely you in all that you do. And remember, we are perfectly imperfect. You are loved, needed, and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. Thank you for tuning in to my crazy art picture. The inspiration looks ever so much better, doesn't it? But I will never paint like that, let's face it. And so, this is what you get. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, folks. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending your hour with me and then some. And uh, remember, I know I said this, we are perfectly imperfect. You are loved, needed, and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. And because you are, remember that your safety <clears throat> is more important than anything in the world. So please be safe out there, folks, okay? Please. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.